New for you tonight at 6, St. Mary of the Woods College won't have to repay $40 million, $42 million in student aid. The college challenged an audit through an office of the Department of Education. Officials issued that audit in 2012. They just reversed their findings last week. Here's what happened. The audit said more than half of students were enrolled in correspondence courses. Those are basically home study classes where students aren't physically in school. This violates the Title IV law that deals with student aid. However, the college considered the online classes telecommunications courses. They don't have the same requirements. I know that St. Mary of the Woods College is the second college in the country to offer distance education. So we were truly a pioneer. We have truly been a pioneer. Um, that program brought us a revenue stream that we needed desperately in the 1970s. Like the university itself, the distance education program is now open to both men and women. Progress.